in the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who made the Bishop St. Albert great by his joining of human wisdom to divine faith, Grant, we pray, that we may so adhere to the truth he taught, that through progress in learning we may come to a deeper knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates, of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you are in power over the multitude and lord it over throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels? Because though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike but for those in power a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those who learned in them will have ready a response. Desire, therefore, my words. Long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, o God, bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor. From the hand of the wicked, deliver them. I said, You are gods, all of you sons of the Most High. Yet, like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. circumstances give thanks for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus Alleluia
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, there are two taking journeys in this gospel passage. Our Lord and his disciples are journeying to Jerusalem, and the ten lepers who were probably going the other way, and they cross path at this particular juncture on the road. On every journey, on every journey, there will be a point on the journey where beyond which you, can, you must go by yourself. You must go alone. There will be a fork in the road beyond which those others who were accompanying you up to that point will no longer be able to go with you. On the journey here for Jesus, he and his disciples came to this point in the road. Only he could do what he did. That is, to grant healing to those ten lepers who met them along the way. The ten lepers on their journey, now we have to understand the Jews and the Samaritans were not friends. They're not even acquaintances. They don't even like being with each other. And yet, misery seems to love company. And somehow, they are mixed up in this group of Samaritans and Jews traveling together, both sharing the misery of leprosy. They came to Jesus on this road, on this journey, and they asked not for healing. They asked for pity or mercy. They asked for mercy, and our Lord Jesus said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And the ten of them did what they were told. And on their way, they were all healed. All ten of them. And only the one among them, the Samaritan, the others were Jews, only the Samaritan, the one who has not faith, he recognized the healing. And he, from that point, left the other and made his way back to where Jesus was. And there he praised him and gave him homage. And Jesus knew that he healed all ten. That's why he asked, ten were cleansed, were there not? And why is there only this Samaritan who came, this foreigner, who returned to give thanks to God? My brothers and sisters, all of us are on this journey of faith together. We're accompanying each other on this journey. There will be a point in the road that is a fork in the road for all of us. It may be a vocation to the pre religious life, to the priesthood. It may be a different vocation for you. You are here this morning. You chose to choose this fork in the road, the road less traveled. You are here at this early 8.30 morning mass. There will be a point when you'll be called to be that Samaritan. 
to be the lone person to continue the rest of the journey. We can be accompanying our brothers and sisters throughout their life um, up to the point of their death. And then at that point is the fork in the road for them. They will make the rest of the journey on their own. The problem is here. I think our Lord acknowledged it. Not everyone is grateful, though. You see, all ten were cleansed. And it was the religious one, the nine, that were of the Jewish tradition and faith that did not return. Perhaps they took their healing for granted. They did not have an attitude of thanksgiving to come back and give thanks to God. Only the foreigner, as our Lord pointed out, made his way back to thank the Lord. And perhaps that's something of a wake-up call for each and every one of us on our journey of faith. We may take our graces and blessings for granted when our Lord is blessing all of us with grace. And in acknowledging it, he blessed them. He said, go, your faith has saved you. So let us be that Samaritan today and every day of our life, filled with gratitude for the blessings that God has given to us so that we may return giving thanks and praise to God uh, for all that we have received. Today we also celebrate St. Albert the Great. St. Albert was born a, a little bit before the 1200s, and he was blessed with great intelligence. Uh, he had a, uh, a conversion experience of some way. Uh, a, apparently the Blessed Mother appeared to him and uh, inspired him to join the early order of preachers. And he joined them, and with that scientific mind of his, contributed much greatly to the formation of the early uh, Dominicans, the early followers of St. Dominic. One of his disciples, of course, was St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, and the two of them uh, really uh, uh, forged a way of formation for the early uh, Dominicans to be formed in the Aristilian philosophy, Greek philosophy, uh, which helped to be the foundation uh, for which they can approach theology. And we still have continue to keep that tradition in our Norbertine order to be formed in the Aristotelian uh, Thomistic philosophy, uh, which is the handmaid of theology for us so that we may then enter into the study of theology with a solid foundation. And so St. Albert the Great was, uh, was key and instrumental in uh, setting that up uh, and preparing the way, as it were, for us. So let us pray for his intercession for us uh, so that we may have a grateful heart in our practicing our faith, in our journeying. Let us always remember to turn back and give thanks and pray to God. With gratitude in our hearts, let us bring our prayers and needs to the Lord. For the church, may God give each of us the grace to live in a worthy manner and always with a grateful heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For those elected to public office and all who hold positions of authority, may the Lord help them lead with honor and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are sick, may God's healing, compassion, and care bring them strength and recovery, especially all those whom we keep in our mind and hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For our SJB community here, that may the Spirit of the Lord enkindle in us a fire for mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all who have died in the peace of Christ, and we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Paul Hung and Sang Do. May the Lord grant them eternal rest in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your wisdom and power surpass our understanding. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy providence through Christ our Lord.
Bless you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Albert be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Albert, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. <clears throat> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. On your day, greet the least begotten moon. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <laughs> Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Albert, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. I had forgotten to introduce to you Frater Garion. He and Frater Juan Pablo are uh, helping in the schools on certain days of the week, and they've been here. Of course, you've probably seen them around, but you know he had a chance to be with us today, so hopefully that continues on certain days of the week. Uh, so that's uh, keep praying for him, for his vocation uh, to the priesthood. He had a few more years before he'll be ordained. And uh, we'll have uh, the, end of the, the hymn, the recessional hymn will be number 212 in your music issue, number 212. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. <clears throat> May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come to me, but speak the words of comfort. My spirit healed shall be, and humbly I'll receive thee, the bridegroom of my soul. No more by sin to grieve thee, or fly thy sweet control. 
Peter. 